show you how to uh, get plugged in here at the Sortimo Innovation Park. It's a bit um, weird. I've been here before, but I've actually never filmed it. So you unplug the connector, you plug the car in. So we're S81. And as you see, super futuristic here. We actually have to go inside now to start the charge, as crazy as it sounds. But this was a site that kind of got me into EVs in general. It's uh, this place right here. I watched a video on it and it showed us that EVs could be cool and futuristic. I mean, that's the future we were kind of promised. So we'll go inside and we'll actually start the charging here. So you go here, you go to there. We'll switch it to English to show you. Now we are at S81. Car is connected and the car. So what it does is that it ramps up a bit of power and you go to connect. We'll go to next. Mm, no, we're not going to do that. And I'll get my phone out and we'll use the card to pay. And that doesn't work. We'll have to retry payment. No internet connection. Wow, that's great. We got the car charging up. It's a bit of a painful process charging here. So I plugged in, put in the number as you saw, and it said dropped internet connection, and then the car started charging up. So I don't know what's going on. I've been to this site before, and I'll be honest with you, it's the site that got me into, into electric cars, but also at the same time, I don't feel it's as good as it used to be simply because that payment terminal is such a stupid idea. But let's give you the full site tour here. I'll switch the camera around. And we've actually never filmed this site on the channel, but you may have seen it elsewhere. So we have four handles per mushroom, let's just call it. Uh, so you could charge four cars, four, eight. You could charge another four, so you could charge up to 16 cars here. There's some buses that are charging as well. Huge Tesla supercharger. All of these do, these do 35 kilowatts at 45 euro cents a kilowatt hour. So if you're just stopping here for a bit, again, these are Huber Schooner cables and it just goes on like this. And I always thought this was going to be kind of the uh, flagship site for EV charging for an example, but I just don't feel that it, it really, it really caught on and it's kind of looking a bit you know, it look, kind of looks like it's falling apart. There's a lot of broken connectors. We have those buses charging up. I'll take you over to the Neo swap station. And this place just goes on and on and on. We have even more charging up over here. We have a Neo ET7, although I'm told Neo is not, too, is not selling quite well in Europe at the moment. But this site here a few years ago, like. I think four years ago, this was the big flagship site in uh, Germany that Sortimo built. They're a uh, industrial supplier of uh, sorts. Neo ET7, we have the battery swap box up here that's humming. Never seen one being used, but it does look like somebody has been here recently because there is paint missing and it looks a bit wet. It looks like someone has driven in. But this site is just absolutely massive. All your power equipment is in the shed back there. But this battery swapping stuff, I've never seen one of these being used. And we've seen a lot of them on the channel. Does anybody actually use these here in Europe with their Neos? Can you please tell me if people do, if you watch this video? And again, we're just off Autobahn 8, kind of between Stuttgart and Munich and you have just a whole bunch of EV charging here. Again, it was an interesting concept when they first opened to have the, the plugs coming down and you go and pay inside to charge. You've got the buses here too. We'll go over this way. We'll go check on the uh, Lucid, whatever it is it's doing. But again, version three Tesla superchargers. And in Europe, the way that you can tell that their version three is they don't have the type two connector. You just have the CCS two 
connector with the nice thin cables on it and we'll come back across this way yeah it's just not looking as good as it used to it's a cool site don't get me wrong the concept the concept is right but it's just kind of looking a bit knackered between you and I and this is the site hold on I'll turn the camera around this is the site that got me into EV charging I remember I watched a video here about how when they had opened up they really wanted to make this a um, EV charging hub and, and they have but the past few times I've been here there's been problems at the restaurant inside there's been problems uh, with cleanliness in the washrooms as you see here it's kind of dirty and messy so I'm not too sure what's going on that was at what was supposed to be the uh, EV charging hub of the future but I digress this was the site that got me into it I'm like if you build sites like this people will buy electric cars and we do see sites like this now in such a short period of time we got our mini in 2022 and that's when I really started following the EV scene so three years ago uh, you have uh, chargers here to charge up your uh, e-bikes and you have more 35 kilowatts or sorry 45 kilowatt charging over here you have your bakery lounge inside I don't think we'll need to go in there and uh, have a look but there's just so much going on here and I really thought more places like this would take off but everybody seems to have done their own their own way of EV charging which is which is fine I get it it's understandable let's go have a look at what Velucid is doing so just to point out what I'm talking about these two handles are and duct taped and I think there's a couple more up there that are broken and duct taped so yeah oh yeah th those ones are definitely broken you have two broken con connectors there oh it's such a shame because it's such a nice site and i really want to show you it but i've always said on this channel i'll point out the truth actually you got three broken handles there so you only have one one working these ones here are all online oh what a shame what a shame it's driving me crazy actually but hey at least the looks cool underneath i mean this is what we were kind of promised this futuristic ev charging stalls with very futuristic looking cars and I mean well we got the cars right and we got the charging for the most part correct I just wish uh, site operators would take care of their equipment more because there is a considerable amount of money that's been invested here over over time I mean just the taxes on this place alone must be crazy just building it the amount of money that got spent in here building it and to not to have it running at 100 percent kind of doesn't make really any sense to me you want your business operating at 100 percent at peak efficiency all the time and when you roll in and half your connectors are broken that's not operating it at 100 percent we'll go to 113 kilowatts and we've added uh, i think we've added about 20 percent 25 percent state of charge and just that indoor payment terminal is so strange because I wanted to film the whole process but then it said internet connection was dropped so I figured uh, I'll go back outside unplug replug back in but when we got here the car was already charging so and it billed my credit card 49 euro hold uh, I'm excited to be here but at the same time too I can I almost get the feeling that if I come back that when we come back in uh, spring or next year it's possibly going to get even worse just judging by the general feeling I'm getting here um, this is one of those things that was probably a great idea don't get me wrong this, this was a great idea an awesome idea they actually implemented it this just didn't stay a paper charging site but they actually implemented it properly it's just the upkeep hasn't been amazing does anybody know why the upkeep has not been amazing here I mean this is the most handles I've seen down in 5,000 kilometers of driving and we've been through Germany we've been through Denmark we've been through Sweden we've been through Norway and back through again I mean we've been literally across Germany and we've been across Denmark and I, this this is the most equipment I've seen down at, at a site and coming here three years into our EV adventure to see basically your hero your hero worship site 
to see it bleeding like this is, uh, well, it kind of makes me a bit sad. Actually, it doesn't make me upset. It just makes me sad that, again, you put so much money and effort into here and it's just dirty. It's drab. It's dirty. Um, like, I almost don't want to come back and charge here. I would much rather go to the Ionity site 60 kilometers away. And, and we have before. We have before. We've been here in spring. And Laura was asking, she's like, are you going to stop at uh, Sortimo? And I'm like, no, that place last time, I mean, there were like flies coming out of the uh, washroom. But again, I think we had enough charge here. We'll get the Lucid unplugged. We'll head back on the road to uh, Munich. How long we've been here? I don't even know how long we've been here, but I think we're good to get to uh, Munich, definitely. And that's going to be it. We'll unplug the uh, connector. I mean, I think this has been changed recently. That looks relatively newish. What are these on here? These are 500 amps. So 400 kilowatt, 500 amps. They, they didn't, especially back when they built this place, that was a big deal to have that much power. Um, this is how you load up the apps and stuff and you go pay inside. I mean, it's not a bad idea. It's just when it crashed on me, it was very confusing what to do. Uh, and only open during hours. Well, that's the other thing. If you're coming here and you don't have the app, uh, sorry, it's 300 kilowatts, not 400. But even then, when, when they built it, that was a big deal. Uh, yeah, if you can't charge after hours, what's the point of having this place? Hold on, I'll turn the camera again. Yeah, if, you're, if you can't charge after hours and you have to download an app, what's really the point of being open 24 hours a day if you need, if you need the app, considering most other charging sites now Yes, they're app-based and subscription, but that's normal. But you can roll up and just tap your card and it will work. Pretty much everywhere we've gone, you can pay with a credit card. It's just here, once it's closed, it's closed. Like you can't, you, you can't charge. So you, they really want you downloading the app. I think that's going to be it from here, from Sortimo. I'm a bit disappointed. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed what's happened here. Like there's all dirt and cobwebs everywhere. It's just so... It's just so sad to see a hero site like this bleeding uh, or there's wrinkles in its armor. But hey, we got the, the, the electric buses pulling out. It's still a cool site. Hopefully they can get it together and make it what it used to be. Again, thank you for watching and we shall see you in the next video. And that's going to be bye for now from uh, the Sortimo Innovations Park in uh, Zusmarhaus in Germany. See you in the next video.